Hey, what's up everyone? It's Shiryu, of course, and today I'm showing you guys how to install the Tropicraft mod. Um, I'm actually about to install it myself so I can actually play it, but I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what I usually do before I install a mod. Um, so here we go. Of course, I always back up my dot .minecraft by going to my percent app data, like that, and I always drag it to my desktop. As you can see, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that, but I would recommend doing that before you begin. Um, I've already got a clean Minecraft installed, meaning no mods. I haven't even deleted the meta infinite yet. Um, so I'm just going to go and close this folder for now. Uh, now I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to go to the Tropicraft form. Uh, there will be a link in the description for you. Now the download can be a little deceiving sometimes. Uh, there's alternate downloads down here. Uh, all the way down here at the bottom. There's a little spoiler earlier for alternate and old downloads. Um, you can get all the downloads from there easily. Uh, but the most recommended and the most recent version will always be up here at the top where it says you can find that change log, but it's kind of deceiving because you actually get the download here. Um, so go ahead and open that folder up, or not folder, but you know the window. Uh, open that up, and then down here you'll see all these videos and these stupid instructions and blue blah 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 blah. And then uh, right here it'll say Tropicraft put in slash mod slash folder. Right here is the Tropicraft mod itself. So we're just going to open that up, and that is the download link for it. You figure they would have a thing where you just click download, but no, they 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 have a hidden link. So yeah, so yeah, just download that, whatever version you got. Um, mine's going to go to my downloads folder, so. I'll have to wait for that to finish downloading. Um, now this mod does indeed require mod loader and uh, Minecraft Forge. Um, proof of that. We'll go to and go to the former here. Uh, right down here, below these videos, there's the instructions here. Um, download mod loader. So we will need mod loader. So we'll go get that off of uh, Google. So go to Google and type in Minecraft mod loader. Now if you can't find it, the link will be in the description for you. Don't worry. Um, so here we see a thing that says version 1.2.5 or Sigma Mods mod. So we go there. Um, if you don't see that, don't worry, the link's in the description so you can click that. So you go there, we're just going to go and scroll down here. And right here, uh, my loader 1.2.5, or whatever version you have, you can go on and download it, download Direct or Adfly. I'll download Adfly, of course, because I support the mod clearly since my loader is what makes all the other mods run. So I'll go on and download it. Um, so skip add. Here we go, it just got downloaded and sent to my downloads folder, so back to Google we go. Uh, so now we need to find, as it says right here, we will need the Minecraft Forge client. So we will type just that in. Minecraft Forge client. And now right here you'll see the API Minecraft Forge. You click that, and I'm pretty sure they moved their thread. Of course they did. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to go to their MinecraftForge.net. The link will be in the description for you. We have to go to Releases tab here. So Releases, and then we go to... Um, probably whichever one you want to look at. Um, Forge 3.3.7 is 1.2.5, so I can't go wrong with either one of these if I download for my version. Um, I'll go and download the main Forge download. Let's go and find it. Um, you keep downloads add fly. Recommended or the latest? Okay, well, guess we'll just go with the recommended one. And then here's our link. Uh, I'll put a link directly to this, and then one to the the main page of uh, Forge.net. Um, so this way you guys can download this version if you have this one. Um, so I'll go on and download it for client download. God, that was quite the adventure, wasn't it? All right, now that we have all that crap done with, we can go in and uh, just close these pages. Holy no, advertisement, Batman. Jeez, stay out of my video. Okay, back to business here. Um, so, as you can see, the little thing tells you what to do. You download Mod Loader and install it to your Mod Loader into your Minecraft.jar. Same thing goes with the uh, Forge client. Um, really easy to do. So, we're just going to do just that like it says. Um, first, I need to go to my Downloads folder. So, Downloads. Uh, let's go and find it here. Tropic Craft, Mod Loader, and Forge Clients. So there they are, the three download links right there, or not download links, but the three folders that we just downloaded. So now what we need to do is we need to go down here and go to percent app data, like so. And then in here again, we'll see the .minecraft folder. Um, first, we're going to get this out of the way and create a new folder called mods. Now, it's inside this folder, the Tropicraft. We actually just drag this into the mods folder. You just drag it in there. That's really easy. Now you have the mod install, but now we need to get the stuff to load it. So now we go to the bin folder, and inside bin there's a folder called minecraft.jar. Right click that and open with WinRAR. Really easy now. Uh, so what we do here is we always delete the meta. If, if you don't delete it, you'll more than likely get um, a black loading screen, and it'll stop the loading screen when you open up your Minecraft. Um, so now that that's done, you open up Mod Loader off your desktop or wherever you had it at. 
um, right click and select all, drag and drop it into your minecraft.jar and click OK. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for the Minecraft Forge client. Um, right click select all, close that thing of course, right click select all, and then drag and drop it in your minecraft.jar. OK. Alright, so that's done. We go and close this stuff. Um, okay, now we just go on and uh, I'm just going to delete this crap because I don't need it. We'll go on and run my Minecraft and see what if it actually worked or not. Um, apparently, I already have a Minecraft open, so whoops. Let's go and see. Oh, maybe not. It's just deceiving me. Okay, so open up my Minecraft, log in like we normally would. And no black screen as usual. I have mastered this, haven't I? Minecraft Forge 8 mods loaded. I don't remember having 8 mods, but okay. Holy jeebers, the GUI skill's terrible on this. Um, keep in mind, your audio might be off like mine is right now. Just ignore that. It just come back and, like, and you just restart your Minecraft a couple times. It'll come back for you. Um, so, we'll go to single player. I'll go and create a creative world so I can see if the items are there because I can see it in the creative menu. Oh, there's my sound. It just came back, like I said. Alright, so, uh, now, it's not like this world's, like, directly into the Minecraft world I read. It's actually, like... It's another dimension, so we actually got to get there somehow. Uh, so easily check the menu. Let's look for something that isn't, you know, in Minecraft normally. Oh, there's something really easy. All right, an empty bamboo mug, and then look at all this weird stuff. I don't want to look at any of it because I haven't played yet, so I don't want to cheat. Clearly, it's working. I'll go ahead and uh, let's just give myself like nah, bamboo. How about that? You can't find that normally in Minecraft, clearly, and here it is. So yeah, so obviously this worked, so I'll be sticking around and hopefully I'll be showing you guys uh, me actually playing this mod because I really want to play this for myself. But until then, I'll see you guys around. Please write and subscribe, and as usual, uh, I'll see you guys later.